the second example gives you a departure position it gives you a course and it gives you the speed of the vessel and the time of the travel instead of the distance it's a bit of an indirect indication towards the distance but we can make it make it work so we have to find the position arrived after traveling from 1200 to 1800 hours at a speed of 9.5 knots per hour on a course of 349 degrees true from the departure position to do so let's first start with course course which is equal to d lat and distance we take this formula because we need to find the d lat if we get the d lat we can apply to the departure position and find out our port of destination latitude to do so first we let's calculate the distance distance in this case equals speed multiplied by time speed was 9.5 knots as given to us in the question the time travel is 6 hours because we travel from 1200 to 1800 hours 6 times 9.5 gives us 57 nautical miles as a distance for the course which is given as 349 degrees true we need to find out the coordinates of the course as we have done before now 349 degrees true as you can see in this figure here is going from north towards west like i said the courses are always measured from north or south and as you can see 349 lies between north and west by a value of 11 degrees and that's why your course coordinates are north 11 degrees west now why do we need to do that because the north and the west gives us indication of what to name our d lat and d long once we find it makes our job easier so now we know we are on a northwesterly course and we can apply the d lat and d long accordingly so once we have got our course and distance let's go back to the first formula which said cos cos equals d lat by distance put in the values you can use 11 here or you can use 349 it doesn't matter you'll get the same answer like i said before you get the d lat value once you put in the values and the answer that you should be getting is 55.95 you can make it 56 if you want because it's very close to the next number however i have kept it 55.95 you may make it 56 we name it north because like we've shown before we are on a north westerly course once we have got our d lat we can now find out our arrival position the departure position is given to us in the question the d lat has been calculated by us because we are traveling in a north fashion although we are in the southern hemisphere we are going in a northerly direction our arrival latitude will of course decrease but it will still be in the southern hemisphere and that's why we have subtracted our d lat and the arrival position that we get is 0 to degrees 10.35 minutes south Once we get our arrival and departure position, we can then go on to calculate our mean lat. Now in this case, because the arrival and the departure positions are both in the southern hemisphere or both in the same hemisphere, you can calculate the mean lat easily by adding the two and dividing it by two to get a mean of the two positions, which in this case is 0 to degrees 38.3 minutes south. This gives you your mean lat or m lat. So let's take another formula and calculate the rest of the figures. So the next is tan course which is equals to departure by d lat. Now we need to calculate departure to calculate our d long further. So if you put in the values here you can see tan 11 will then equal departure divided by d lat. Keep departure on one side, take the knowns to the other side keeping the unknown on one side and the knowns to the other side put in the values in the calculator and the answer that you should get is 10.88 nautical miles because departure is a unit of distance you may make it 10.9 if you want to but i'm just keeping it to two decimal places in certain cases there's no specific reason for that you can make it one decimal place once we've got the departure we can go on to calculate our d long because departure equals d long times cos of mean latitude we have calculated our mean latitude as above we know our departure we put in the values in the equation 
we keep our unknown on one side take the known to the other multiplication going on the other side becomes a division this shows that 10.88 divided by cos of the mean lat will give us our d long value as 10.89 we name it west because as we derived above the vessel was on a north westerly course our initial longitude is was given to us in the question as 179 degrees 55.3 minutes west the d long given to us was 10.89 rather not given to us other 10.89 was the figure we calculated as the d long now to get our final longitude you have to do a little bit of conceptualization you are very close to the anti meridian as you can see this is your departure position your d long value equals 10.89 minutes west you are going in a westerly fashion that means now you will cross over the anti meridian and go on to the other side of the anti meridian which is the east longitude so apply your d long accordingly so and the answer that you will get for your final longitude if you apply the d long is 179 degrees 53.8 minutes but this time you are now on the east side of it so if you apply 10.89 from 179 55.3 you will realize that you go on to the other side of the anti meridian into the eastern side and that's the longitude that you get so finally our arrival position for example 2 will be given as 02 degrees 10.3 minutes south and 179 53.8 minutes east please go through both the examples again pause where you have to for a better understanding watch these videos multiple times to make sure that you understand how we have done it and hopefully you will get a good understanding of how to calculate using plain sailing formula